Hello there and welcome to a special edition of Little Big Knits. This is not an ordinary episode, so if you're looking for an episode, um, you might want to go back to the previous one or wait for the next one, which I hope will be perhaps next week or very soon anyway. So this is actually going to be about the giveaway prizes for the Garment Galore Cow that I co-hosted with Kate of the Hawthorne Cottage Craft in 2019. This was a knit along uh, that lasted from January 1st of 2019 to December 31st, after which we closed the threads and uh, and here I am to uh, give some of the prizes or give the prizes away for that knit along. So just briefly, this was a, uh, a knit along that consisted of knitting garments. So a garment was anything like a sweater, a vest, skirt, pants if you were so inclined, a coat, um, dress, a bathing suit if you were so inclined as well, anything of that. Uh, that sort of covers your torso, torso, so not accessories like shawls or hats or fingerless mitts or socks. And we had a wonderful participation uh, from a lot of people. It was really, really great. Both Kate and I had general finished object threads in addition to the chatter threads. Um, and then we both each had um, some special threads. So I had a men's sweater thread and she had a yoked sweater thread. And then we both had, starting in, I believe it was May, uh, summer fibers thread. So this was for anything, any garment that was knit using at least around 50% of summer plant fibers, rather, not summer fibers, but plant fibers. So anything that was derived from plants, such as bamboo or nettle or linen or cotton. And so uh, we both had a thread for finished objects for summer garments. Kate has already uh, posted a sort of special edition to give away her prizes, and today it's my turn. <laughs> I finally got around to it. And so yeah, this will be um, that special edition. And there was such wonderful chatter, first of all, in the uh, conversation thread, lots and lots of people participating there, and um, as well as a lot of beautiful sweaters in all the threads. Um, in fact, I'd have to say that if you've been thinking about knitting a summer garment but don't quite know what to make, the summer sweater thread has such amazing ideas in it. Um, and as well as if you're thinking about color work and yoked sweaters, you can look in the general FO thread, but you could also go over to Kate's group and have a look through there to see what, what kinds of sweaters were made. And I have to say that um, I really enjoyed, uh, I, I enjoyed all of the threads, but I also really enjoyed the men's thread. Um, there are less entries in that, I have to say, but I really liked seeing um, the different sweaters that people made for men. And in fact, there was one in there that I'm thinking about making for Alejandro, which is, uh, it was test knit, and it's one called Tampere, and I can't remember who the designer was, but I just really loved the sweater in there, and I thought, mm, that would be a nice one for Alejandro, so he may be getting that sweater sometime in the near future. It's actually meant for women, but it's a very unisex, uh, looking design. So um, yeah, I, I just really enjoyed going through that thread. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the, the cow and if you participated and uh, there were people who had multiple sweaters in the year and there will be a special prize today for the person with the most sweaters. Um, it was just an absolute pleasure and uh, it was the second time that we hosted the Garment Galore Cow and hint hint it won't be the last for me. I do love garment knitting as you know. Um, although I'm, I'm starting this year wanting to knit more accessories somehow. Um, I'm forging ahead with a sweater that's on the needle for me and for the, a friend but I keep looking at some of the accessories that I feel like knitting so we'll see what ends up uh, happening this year but I am a garment knitter. I knit, uh, I think I made nine sweaters last year. Um, 
So n not as many as the, some of the people in the group, that's for sure. We've got some very serious garment knitters in the group, as well as, you know, all kinds of skill levels. I think many of you have made a sweater for the first time, and I hope you've realized that there are lots of di different constructions, and it doesn't have to be complicated. And um, the more experience you have, the more you start understanding the things you can change and modify and so forth. So. I love the idea of promoting garment knitting because I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Just like making your own clothes with sewing, it's, it's just really, really nice. So without further ado, because I can tell I'm starting to babble, let's get on with the prizes. So I used random number generator to generate all of the, uh, the numbers and from, from each thread. And basically, um, I either went from one to the last thread. So if there were 400 uh, entries, it went from one to 400 or two to 400, depending on the thread. Because in the chatter thread, it just went right from the very beginning. And uh, for the other ones, it usually started at the second entry because mine was the first. So um, for the chatter thread, the winner for, uh, for participating and um, and chatting in the thread and for encouraging others and sharing uh, successes and failures was Patty Baudo or Baudo. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce your name. Patty, you have won this skein of this lapis lazuli, uh, lazuli rather, is the colorway of this amazing yarn from Ancient Arts Fibers. Um, this is their reinvent which is a wool, mohair, nylon, acrylic, and silk blend. It's a fingering weight yarn. I made my Yume, a green sweater that I made last year, if you've been around and you might remember. I think I was working on it when I was in Uruguay. Uh, I made that out of this yarn, and I absolutely love it. So this is for you, Patty, as well as this wonderful pin from Marceline Smith that I got earlier this year. I bought two, one for me and one for you. And um, <clears throat> it says sweater on board. So you can put that on a project bag or on a pin board or whatever strikes your fancy. And uh, so those are for you, Patty. Uh, congratulations and thank you for participating and thank you to everybody who came into the chatter thread and chatted and um, you know, there are all kinds of wonderful things. It was very positive uh, and uh, really, really lovely. So thank you so much. I know there were some comments from people how they were really enjoying the, the vibe of, of um, the knit along. So that's just wonderful. So thank you to everybody for, for your participation in the chatter thread. The next uh, prize will be going for the general finished object thread. There were 930 entries. So that's 930 sweaters. Now, some of those were also eligible for other threads so they could double dip, um, but those are all the ones that were in there. 930 entries, which was great. There was such an array of items. Of course, primarily I would say sweaters and cardigans, uh, but there were quite a few skirts and some vests as well. And um, it was just really such a delight to go through every, I, honestly, I went in pretty much every day to check what people had had put in and, uh, and to like their work and just really enjoy it. So it was great. And I often found myself going to their, people's project pages to get more information or to get the actual pattern added a lot to my wish list. Um, so it was a very inspiring to go through there every day. So the winner for, there are two prizes actually for the general. I'm sorry, I'm looking down because my notes are down there. Um, the first one is going to post number 801, which is hand fatigue. Uh, Karina, and I feel like Karina, you might have won last year. Is that possible? Um, you have won for a vest that you made called the Slow Om. Um, I won't be putting pictures here because I wasn't quite sure how people would feel about that. Um, so anyway, uh, but please feel free to go in and check uh, post number 801. So Karina, you have won a sweater quantity of Malabrigo Arroyo. 
Uh, there are four skeins here, which should be enough for a sweater. Um, and this is the Arroyo, and it is in the Prussian blue colorway. It's this very, very um, intense sort of um, tonal blue that uh, is enough for a sweater. So congratulations, and please get in touch with me. Actually, all the winners, um, I'll probably link you in the uh, group thread uh, so that you can uh, get, and get in touch with me and let me know what your address is. So that will be coming to you. The next person is going to be getting this pouch by Luli, except that it's in here and will be slightly different, as well as one of her stash appreciation pies, uh, pins, which is in here, and these wonderful fun stitch markers that I got at Vogue Knitting Live last year. They're very funny. Uh, some of them say uh, things like uh, yarnaholic and slightly mad for yarn and things like that, and they're they're little wooden stitch markers. Um, and so the next person to receive this lovely prize, thank you so much, Luli, for, for donating it, um, is, it goes to post number 266, which is Cappuccino Girl Deb. Hello, Deb. And you had made a vest for your son as well. It was called the Houth Vest. Um, really beautiful vest with cables all over it and uh, congratulations. I remember that, that post very well. So you'll be winning these lovely items that you can add to your, to your knitting uh, with notions and on your project bag and, and use the stitch markers. So congratulations to you. The next category that we'll be giving a prize for is the men's category. So in the men's category, there were 50 entries. Um, I'm glad there were 50 entries. I have to say in the very beginning, I was like, I hope people are gonna knit some sweaters for men. I feel like men get neglected in all of this knitting. Um, so the person who is going to win this prize, and there were really wonderful, wonderful patterns, as I said, uh, and wonderful finished objects. Um, I really enjoyed looking at that because I, find it sometimes difficult to determine what kind of, I think about knitting sweaters for Alejandro, I've knit him one. Um, I, well, I actually knit him two. The first one was a complete fail and uh, I think went to Goodwill. <laughs> Just didn't want to have anything to do with it anymore. Um, I didn't want to pull it apart. I didn't want to do anything with it. It was just a complete fail. And I realized at that point that knitting for men can be a challenge when you're used to fitting a woman's body and you know what kind of ease you want and so forth. And, and for men, I think I, I struggled to figure out his size. Maybe the yarn combination with the pattern was not very good. Anyway, the first sweater was a fail. Um, the sw second sweater was much better. So I really enjoyed going through that and seeing what people had made uh, for men and how how the items fit So the prize for that is actually this bag, but new it's crinkling here on my lap uh, This is a wonderful donation um, from awesome granny bags So thank you so much for this. I love my bag. I've got a project in here right now It's actually a sewing project not a knitting project. It's a wonderful sized bag as you can see and I um, I'm thinking I need to get my sewing project, which is not going anywhere, out of there and get a sweater in here so that I'm using it more regularly. Um, so the winner from the men's prize, uh, from the men's finished object thread will be getting the, uh, exactly the same bag that was wonderfully donated. And uh, this goes to Ine, Nina, congratulations. Uh, Nina made a wonderful, I think it was a grandpa cardigan, for her, uh, for her husband, and there's a beautiful picture of the two of them actually in the thread, and um, it was just a really nice fitting uh, blue cardigan. So congratulations, Nina. I'll be sending you along a bag by Awesome Granny. Her bags are really, really wonderfully made, as well as Luli's work. I was just such a thrill. Uh, everything's going all over the place. Um, to have items made by these two makers uh, whose work I have 
admired for a rather long time. So thank you to both of you. All right, next is the Summer Fibers finished objects. In the Summer Fibers thread, we had 111 entries. Um, if you've been watching for a while, you know that in the spring, I pull out all my summer yarns, which are primarily plant-based yarns, and I start uh, going through them and deciding what I wanna make for the summer. I absolutely love working with summer fibers. I know that not everybody does. Some people have complained that um, more rigid fibers like cotton and linen can be really hard on the hands. And I'm not 100% sure why. I think it probably has something to do with um, the way people knit probably and how tightly one holds the yarn. I fortunately do not fall into that category because I absolutely love linen. I think linen and mohair are my two favorite fibers. If I walk into a clothing shop and there is something with linen, I will likely find it and just go straight towards it. And same with mohair. I find anything that has something fuzzy and I go straight towards it. So I just love, love plant-based fibers. And so it was really nice to see all the wonderful items that people made. There were lots of, um, you know, tea tot type tops and uh, tank type tops as well as, I think there was some, a dress or two and some skirts. So um, really, really wonderful to see what people were making in that thread. And I know that I'll be going through it again to see if there's anything that I uh, might have missed uh, to put into my favorites for the coming spring and summer because although we're in the middle of winter spring and summer always come so the winner here is post number 47 which is V Shaw 7 so congratulations Vicki Vicki won for uh, uh, well for being post 47 and that was the one that was randomly drawn but uh, she made a beautiful red ED, which is a design that I made as well by Isabel Kramer. I made it in red as well. <laughs> so we both have red EDs. And um, so congratulations to you, Vicki. And I'm gonna tell you what you are going to win. You are going to win this wonderful cotton silk linen blend yarn from Americo. It's called Linen Cordon and it is in black. And I got it um, at the same time that I bought myself. What did I buy myself at that time? I bought her, her uh, Brisa yarn, I believe, in a cream color. And I got this for the podcast. And it would make a stunning, stunning, drapey anything for the summer. So, Vicky, congratulations. And um, I hope to hear from you soon. So that is it for the, the finished objects thread. Um, although, as I said, there is a prize for the person who, um, who had the most finished objects. And the person who had the most finished objects in the uh, threads was a person who made 20 sweaters last year. Now, whips were welcome, so some of them may have been whips that were uh, languishing, but 20 sweaters were finished last year, which is pretty darn impressive. And they weren't like made out of super bulky yarn and super simple patterns. There was a lot of cables and lace work. So congratulations. There were lots of people who had multiple sweaters. Uh, so congratulations to, to those of us who had multiple sweaters last year, or well, and honestly, to everybody who made sweaters last year, right, for this, for this garment galore cow. So the person with the most sweaters this year was a Heather, who is lace wing on Heather. And Heather, you have won a digital copy of the Jewels by Making Stories. This is a wonderful um, collection of patterns there's sweaters, but there are also accessories in it by the Making Stories people. And this was uh, donated by a lovely individual. Uh, I won't say your name because I didn't ask you if you minded being mentioned on the podcast, but thank you so much for donating that. Um, I have to say she had asked if I wanted to keep it or give it away. And 
it was hard choice, but I decided to give it to you, uh, to the podcast. Uh, it really is a beautiful collection. So Heather, uh, get in touch with me and then um, you will be given the, uh, the collection. So that is it for the prizes. Just let me make sure. I think I've done it all. As I said, it was an absolute joy. So thank you so much for, for joining me this year on uh, knitting garments. I am happy with the garments that I made this year. Um, I think, I'm trying to think of which ones were my favorites. I'll have to think a little bit about that and perhaps talk about it on the po a podcast. But I certainly really, really um, enjoy garment knitting and, uh, and I'm glad that you've joined me on the journey. So thank you so much for uh, chiming in for this uh, giveaway special. And we'll see you with a real episode soon. Um, hopefully really soon. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.